Well, hello, fellow Lego addicts. Today, I come to you with a video that essentially I set my saddle up for a year ago, which is my massive vintage Harry Potter haul. So, story time. A year ago, I found a bulk of retired Harry Potter Lego on Marktplatz, and I put a bid in for it, and I kind of won it, sort of. And then my parents went to pick it up because it was in the Netherlands and they were gonna come see me for my birthday in September so they were like we will bring it with us it will be fine and uh, then everything got shut down and they couldn't come and now a year later I have it basically it's been a massively long time coming as you know this is actually why I started my channel originally because I was like this would be super cool to share with people there's obviously a few things I've learned since joining the Harry Potter collecting Lego hobby if I were to find a bulk of Lego again in the state this is in i probably wouldn't buy it just because it is a children's collection and he basically put it in this massive storage bin and he was just selling it and he was selling it based on the instructions he still had so i have no guarantees anything is complete i have no guarantees uh, the figures were in good condition i have no guarantees of anything and i still paid a lot for it at the time, um, I could justify that. Realistically, there's quite a lot of stuff in this like haul. Also, at the time, my goal still was to recollect all the old retired Harry Potter Lego. However, obviously, that's kind of moved on a little bit since then. After being in the Lego hobby again for sort of a year's time, I don't have as much room to display things. So let me just show you the instructions of theoretically what could be in this box. And then we'll just go on this adventure together because there is no guarantees. So, first and foremost, we have this really cute mini night bus. I think there's two of these. Um, I found these actually separated in little sandwich bags, so that's really useful. Then, there is this set, 4750, which I actually used to own as a child, so that's really cool. Then, next up, this set, which I also used to have as a child, comes with a glow and a dark snape. Next up is this set, which I actually don't think, I don't think I ever owned this one back in the day, but this is Sirius Black's Escape. So this is like the little tower that you see in the prison of Azkaban with Buckbeak, Harry, Sirius Black and a Dementor. Now here comes the first really, really exciting big one that I've kind of teased a few times already. The Freaking Shack. I again, never owned this as a child, but this is one of those sets that I always really wanted. I think it looks really cool still. I really hope things are in good condition because I think that's going to be like a massive thing. But I think it looks fantastic. I'm super, super excited for this. Oh my God, look at it. Shrieking Jack. Okay, I'm really hoping that this is going to be complete. Actually, something that you've already been able to see is this. It's a sealed dueling club box. Now it is, I knew it would be quite dented. There is like quite a lot of dent there. There is things, there is a sticker that's still attached to it. However, new and sealed dueling club. That's been retired for a long time. So now let's go into the older set. It's the Dueling Club set. I used to have it as a child as well. Um, also, this is the one that at the back you can see how the Hogwarts used to go together. Like it is really cool. There's so many bits to it. Also, these instructions in general are actually in really good condition, which is really nice. So then we have Hagrid's Hut. Next up is the Quidditch set with Malfoy and Harry. So the first rendition of the Quidditch one ever. And obviously with the M Madame Hooch, I used to have this as well when I was younger and I actually quite like this. Next up is the Trolls Bathroom. This is probably one of the most damaged instructions. It's Nocturne Alley, as well as the Quidditch Quality Supply Shop. So this is really cool. I used to have this one but I never used to have the Nocturne Elite one and I have already found the mini figures for it so that's super super cool and I can't wait to build these because these this one comes with a printed um, Hand of Glory tile which I found and it's just such an odd tile so um, I'm really excited. Next up is the Aragog set, now the first um, version of Aragog. I think we're gonna have to call it Derpy. And then we have the Slytherin common room, which comes with Crab and Goyle. And I can't believe that like back in the day we used to have a Crab and Goyle set and now obviously we haven't had one for ages. And actually the um, girls bathroom set that have just come out this year is the first time that we've seen those figures in so long. So honestly, it's been such a long due update. So really cool to have the original versions. Then we've got the Dobby and Lucius Malfoy set where Dobby finds the sock. I don't think I found the sock tile yet. However, I have definitely got the diary. Um, this is such a cute set as well. Again, Dobby is mildly creepy, but also really funny. So I'm quite excited to put that together. 
And then we have Chamber of Secrets. This comes with a really beautiful version of Gilderoy Lockhart in his like cool robes. I honestly think I found his minifigure and his the printing on him is really, really good. In a way, you could actually replace his hands and face with like the modern version of him because actually the printing and his outfit is kind of perfect. So that's super, super exciting. Then we have the, sorry, there's quite a lot. <laughs> Then we have the Hogwarts Express, obviously super classic, the first version of which. There is one thing though that I do already know, the stickers of this set on the pieces that I do have in here aren't in a good condition at all, like they're peeling. I think basically what happened over time, they got dry and therefore they started cracking and falling off. I have bought replacement stickers for this set, however they aren't real because I couldn't find the real ones. So that is a thing with this set. Then one of my personal favorites of the old set bunch is the Dumbledore's office. So actually I'm really excited for this. I found some of the cool printed pieces that come with this set already, like the more unique ones. Also this comes with the first rendition of like the McGonagall figure. She looks really odd compared to like her modern versions. Her minifigures have, co have come a long way. She's obviously one of the better ones out there now. And the final set of this sort of series is the Hogwarts castle, the one that you can combine with the Chamber of Secrets underneath. Honestly, I think this looks really, really cool. It actually holds up quite well. There's a lot of really nice elements here, like some printed, there's like a really cool knight there as well, like a statue. There is there is a lot here and I'm very excited to kind of go through that. But now onto the four sets that I am personally most excited about. And that is the Goblet of Fire sets. So there was only four Goblet of Fire sets that came out when they were released in Lego and they weren't distributed widely. So here is the Durmstrang ship. This is really exciting. I found some of the elements already and actually like looking at these instructions and just kind of how basic the set is, is really funny. I do remember thinking it was quite a square boat. Um, and when I put the boat pieces together, when I found them in the big box, I was like, oh my gosh, it is, it is really square. However, I am really excited to be putting this together. This is probably the thing I'm most excited about of all the sets. It's just so unique and I can't believe that we now got a bow battle carriage, but we haven't got a new version of the, of the ship. Next up is the Rise of Voldemort graveyard set. Obviously we have had a new version of this come out um, like a few years ago, but this is a really cool set where we have some awesome minifigures. So we have the masked Lucius Malfoy, we have Wormtail with his spare hand that he's just been given by Voldemort, some amazing uh, tombstones, and we have the glow in the dark Voldemort. The Goblet of Fire sets are probably the ones that I hope are complete the most, because these are the ones that I'm most excited for. And then, we have the mermaid second task set i've definitely found all of the minifigures for this there is the sleeping ron and hermione double faces there is the mer person and the victor crumb with the shark head and harry with his gillyweed printing honestly again such an underrated set i cannot believe we didn't have an updated version of this so so very exciting excited to put this together this is one of the sets that i really wanted as a child as well i never got and the very final one of the sets that i know is in here or at least should be have or at least should have pieces for is this set um the hungarian horn till obviously we've had a updated version of this as well this year however i think we can all agree this dragon looks cooler like just look at it it's just it's just more like the horn tail also there's some amazing printed piece in here there's the um, there's a Durmstrang logo, there's a Beaubaton logo, and a really beautiful Hogwarts Crest printed tiles. What really took me by surprise is how many of these were actually printed tiles. There were so few stickers in these sets, which obviously bodes well for when you're buying re retired or like bulk deals because stickers really don't last very well if they're this old. Like the golden ball thing, I don't know if that's still there. I know, I have definitely know that I have the like magnetic thing that Harry holds, but I haven't seen the golden egg ball thing. Obviously again, that's kind of the risk that I was taking. And as I was saying, if I was doing this now, I don't think I would have done it. I think I've learned enough about Lego in this recent time. However, at the time, all I was doing was just recollecting what I used to own. So I wasn't as fussed about things being complete. I wasn't as fussed about, you know, all of that kind of stuff. It was really just like for me to get the sets. Um, I have cleaned all of the minifigures, which were put separately, as well as some of the printed tiles, which I'm trying to lift up very carefully now. Here we go. There are some amazing printed pieces here, but also having gone through every single set that should be in here, there definitely aren't enough printed pieces for what should be in here. So I'm hoping that, you know, I'm gonna find more as I go through the main box because these were things that were actually bagged separately, which is really, really helpful for me 
but also kind of makes me slightly worried because obviously I want to make sure that there is more. I am super excited to take you along for this. This is obviously just a little intro that I just wanted to take you through and I hope you're excited to come on the adventure with me to find out what's complete and how much of a haul this is going to be because it's both incredibly exciting and incredibly nerve-wracking because as I now fully appreciate I took such a risk of buying this because there is absolutely no guarantees and I definitely don't believe it's going to be fully complete in any way but I could be pleasantly surprised who knows for now I have most of the basilisk already I have one glow in the dark tooth so that's a very good start hopefully we'll find the other one but at least it's in a good condition for now so the next step from here is I'm going to have to fill this tub with water and soap because I tried thinking about what best to do and in an ideal world I think I would have really liked to have separated everything by colour first but it's just so very dirty so I'm going to um, put all of this in the bath just like I did with Hogwarts which I know is a bit crazy but it's just the easiest way to kind of go through everything in this box and have a clean box ready for things to go back into as well. Um, because I haven't got enough sorting trays to put all the different elements in. So we're going to just fill up the bath with this. The part two will be coming soon!